a window, a widow slash author is in jail tonight. She's facing aggravated murder charges one year after her late husband was found dead in his sleep. Now new details are emerging about how he died and what he told a friend just weeks before police say he was poisoned. New specialist uh, Debbie Worthen is digging deeper and deeper into this. And Debbie, what do we know so far? <laughs> Well, Mike and Dini, Corey Richens is here in the Summit County Jail tonight. We're told she is being held without bail. Investigators say she purchased fentanyl and then served her husband a deadly dose in a drink. And court papers say this is not the first time she's tried to kill her husband. Eric was one of the hardest workers I ever knew. Friends say Eric Richens was one of the greatest fathers out there. He had three boys that he loved more than anything. He was an avid hunter and loved being with family and friends. But in March of 2022, Eric died in his Francis home. Now investigators believe his wife killed him. Corey Richens, seen here just last month in KPCW, as she promoted a book she just released on dealing with grief, is facing aggravated murder charges in his death. Court papers say Corey first bought painkillers from a drug dealer, weeks later asking for something stronger. She called it some of the Michael Jackson stuff. That was just before Valentine's Day last year. Records say on Valentine's Day, Eric became very ill and believed he had been poisoned and told a friend he thought his wife was trying to poison him. The dealer told police that two weeks later, Corey purchased more fentanyl. Six days later, on March 4th, 2022, Eric was found dead of a fentanyl overdose. The Richens family released this statement. The Richens family has been devastated by the loss of their son and brother, Eric Richens, in March of 2022. They hope that justice will be done. The family is thankful to all law enforcement for their efforts in pursuing this matter. As for Colby Sagers, he misses his friend. It's been sad without Eric. He loved to hunt, loved to be outside. Very honest guy. He was a great friend. Well, Corey Richens will appear before a judge for a detention hearing on May 19th.